Okay, well, I was able to replicate a device by slider, new circuit that runs a motor really neat. And uh, it's a circuit by slider 2732. I'll give a link to the video how he came up with this circuit. And I'm lid motor, and this is July 2024. And, um, that is really neat. It's a single transistor with an LED and in my case a super cap filled up with 3 volts. And it runs. I'm using a north-south neodymium type of magnet for the rotor magnet. Let me stop this. The uh, circuit will still oscillate when the rotor stopped and I'm using a north-south rotor so let's start it up again and there it goes anyway let me show you what what happened here Slider had a USB fan that he was working on a solar panel array with that blew up. And the USB fan was a nice little USB fan, so he took it apart. And it had a bunch of coils. It was a brushless uh, DC motor. And he wired up the coils in such a way and used a Bedini SSG circuit on it. And it ran great. And then he just started pulling parts off the circuit. And he found out it would run with less and less parts until he got down to just this. Now, in the Bedini circuit, there's a diode right here, yeah, 1N4001 diode, which helps turn the transistor off quick, which gives you the big spike here, goes into another battery, which goes back into here, and that's the classic Bedini SSG simplified schoolgirl circuit. It was the first one I ever made for a brushless DC motor. But this was the genius. He exchanged the diode for an LED, so you have an indicator light. And I just thought that was the neatest thing. Plus, when the thing goes into self-oscillation, you can see it. And so anyway, this is a Slider 2732. I believe this is a new idea. I haven't seen that done before. I've done it many times with just a diode. But on a standard Bedini circuit, there's usually a, um, a resistor of, of some sort in this part of it here. And then, um, like I say, this is a 1 in 4001 diode. Off of the collector comes off another diode. A fast switching goes into a battery. Battery dumps back into the plus side of the circuit. While this is running, you're charging up another battery. Now, on a Bedini circuit, these two coils, the trigger and the drive, they're wrapped together on a coil, a single bobbin. And they're around by filer. You see, they're twisted in the real pro professional ones. And this is just a sewing machine bobbin. It's 34 and 32 gauge, uh, 34 for the trigger. It's about 300 turns. Slider used uh, 300 turns on his version of this. But anyway, I just thought that was really neat. It's something I hadn't seen before. And uh, I just wanted to share that. Very neat new idea. Thanks, Slider, for sharing that.